This morning, helping you live healthy, a CDC panel now suggests that people up to 45, 45 years old, should consider getting the HPV vaccine. It helps prevent cancer caused by the human papillomavirus, which is typically sexually transmitted. Now, doctors usually recommend it for preteens with doses starting around 11 or 12 years old. But this new recommendation now encourages people to talk with their doctors about basically catch-up vaccines, since you probably did not get one when you were 11 or 12. OBGYN Dr. Marsha Lachaud is from Memorial Hospital and is joining us now. Good morning. Thank you Good for morning. being here. I appreciate it. As we were just discussing, the reality is, is when we were 11 or 12, this was not even an, a, a conversation with our pediatrician. Right, right. This is a relatively newer vaccine. Um, and patients are, you know, people that are older, you know, usually typically above the age of 30, really haven't heard of it and, you know, haven't had the chance to get it when they were younger. Now, it has been recommended for even up to the age of 26. The difference here, of course, is, is older than that, as you just mentioned, up to 45. Why is this vaccine so important? Well, HPV is actually um, the cause of a lot of cancers. Um, you know, typically it is sexually transmitted, as you said, but it can cause cervical cancer as well as anal cancer and then throat cancer as well. So um, it's really important to one, get screening for HPV with, you know, your pap smears and everything, and then to get the um, HPV vaccination to help protect yourself. You know, I think people start think, hearing kind of cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, and they think, okay, if I'm a man, I don't have to worry about getting this vaccine. But that is not necessarily the case. Not, not at all, not at all. Um, men can actually have HPV. They can spread HPV to women, but then you know, men themselves can get, you know, anal cancer and throat cancer from it. It's interesting, too, because, um, you know, when, when we hear typically about symptoms, there are things that we maybe recognize in our body, but there aren't a whole lot of symptoms that, if any at all, correct with HPV yeah. until basically you have cancer. Exactly, exactly. It's silent but deadly. So um, you could have no symptoms, yeah. and then all of a sudden you have something, a little cough or something like that, and you can end up with cancer. So how common is HPV? Um, it's extremely common. It's extremely common. I always have to recommend to my patients, you know, if they do test positive for HPV, usually it is sexually transmitted, but your body is able to fight it off on its own. And it is usually. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, and and it's skin to skin contact basically. But eighty percent of sexually active people typically con contract it at some point in their lives. Mm -hmm. That is a lot, a lot of, of the people, no doubt, who are watching us here this morning. Right. Right. Absolutely. A, a couple of statistics I just wanted to mention because I think that this really kind of puts it in perspective. If for those of our viewers who are watching, think ah, it doesn't apply to me. Ah, I don't have to worry about this. <laughs> We're talking about more than thirteen thousand cases of cervical can cancer that are diagnosed here in the United States. Is is I mean, can you? Pre pretty much say that HPV definitely does cause cervical cancer for the most part, or most of the cervical cancer cases are related to HPV? Absolutely, yes. yes. And, and then cervical cancer, you know, if not caught, uh, that can be deadly. Yes, it can spread to your other organs and, you know, potentially, you know, kill you. And, and HPV vaccine is covered by insurance, right? This yes. isn't an out-of-the-box kind of thing. Oh, uh, most, uh, all, all insurances actually call, um, cover the HPV vaccination. And it is a series of three vaccinations, so you have to make sure that you get all three. Thank you very much for being here. Do appreciate it. important information for our viewers to help you stay healthy.